Good morning, ESM. I'm Soph. And I'm Anthony. And today, in the upcoming months, we're going to be sharing Rolling Stone's recent list of the top 100 songs of all time. Those numbers aren't the only ones we'll be covering. Coming up later, I will be updating you on number nine boys soccer fared on Soccer Square, Central Square Senior Night. Data from the American Academy of Pediatrics shows that COVID-19 cases among children peaked in September as schools opened for in-person learning amid the Delta variant surge. More than 6 million children have tested positive since the beginning of the pandemic, with more than 1.1 million cases rep reported from September 3rd to the 30th. Vaccinations for children aged 5 to 11 could begin within weeks. Pfizer and BioNTech request emergency use authorization from Food and Drug Administration October 7th. The FDA Advisory Committee will discuss the authorization October 26th. Squid Game strikes a nerve in debit-ridden South Korea. The show, which is based on adults in debt competing in children's games to win money, has a hit close to the home with the people living in South Korea. In the past two decades, people have dealt with soaring debt, decaying job markets, and income inequalities. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. The afternoon weight room will be closed on Friday for accommodations of a team lifting. Please see Coach Hayes with questions. The Varsity Winter Guard will have their tryouts on Wednesday, October 20th in the high school's small gym. Tryouts will run from 6.30 to 9 that evening. See you all there. Any student interested in signing up for ice hockey for the 2021 to 2022 season must see Mrs. Super in the athletic office for more information. Signups will end on Monday, November 1st. Did you know that you can learn how to manage your own money right here at school? Our own student-run credit union, the Spartan Branch, is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1045 to 1215 in the main office. You can open an account, make deposits and withdrawals, and cash checks conveniently right here at school. Don't have an account yet? All you need is five do a $5 opening deposit, your social security number, and a valid ID to open an account. Also, you will receive a free $5 matching deposit when you open a new account, so be sure to stop down and take in control of your financial future. So, for our first song, number 100 is Bob Dylan's Blowin' in the Wind. And then... Number 99, Bee Gees, Stayin' Alive. Stayin' Alive. Number 98, we have The Beatles, In My Life. Number 97, Patti Smith, uh, Gloria. 96, Jay-Z, 99 Problems. <laughs> and then number 95, Wonderwall by Oasis. Number 94, Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Uh, number 93, Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> number 92, Little Richard, Good Golly Miss Molly. At number 91, <laughs> UGK featuring Outkast. I, I, okay. I choose you. Aretha Franklin, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman at number 90. And after weather, we will be talking about classic rock. Today we will have a high of 77 and a low of 66 degrees. There might also be some rain throughout the day. Tomorrow is Saturday and we will have a high of 69 degrees and a low of 48. There will also be some rain and thunderstorms. Sunday will be rainy and cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 45 degrees. So, what is classic rock? Well, honestly, the definition is ever-changing with the times. True, but right now my definition of classic rock is the era of Grateful Dead in the 60s to Pearl Jam in the early 90s. Well, my definition is any rock music uh, dating from the early 60s to the late 80s. Some people consider 2000s music to be classic rock, but I disagree. We'll tell you why after sports. 
The Los Angeles Dodgers beat the San Francisco Giants 2-1 to in Game 5 last night. The game ended in a controversial call on a check swing by William Wilmer Flores. The Dodgers moved to the face the and until I <laughs> until Braves in the NLCS. The Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers beat the Philadelphia Eagles tw 28 to 22. Quarterback Tom Brady threw two touchdowns and two nine. 293 yards. The wide receiver Antonio Brown had 93 yards in a touchdown. On to Leah with your sports. Congrats on Jess Griffith for Athlete of the Week. She has saved many goals through her contentious defense play. Jess Hub led the Spartans to a 10-0 record in a division play in 11 straight wins. Congrats to Isabel Shavesty for beating ESM record for the most shutouts, 35 shutouts total, and currently 11 straight shutouts. The girls' soccer team defeat Central Square 1-0. Leah Rem led the team with one goal, assisted by Giselle Meckleham. The boys' soccer team won their 10th straight game last night to Central Square, 3-2. ESM was down 2-0 at halftime, but came back in swinging in the second half. Back to back goals were scored by Zach Sufelt and Baham Muckle. Around the 32nd minute, both teams went back and forth until the sixth minute, where Todd Durantini played an over the top ball to Joel Alvarez and scored the third goal. The boys are 13 2 overall and 10 0 in their league. With sectionals right around the corner for the boys, they are currently ranked number one in their division. The boys have also managed to stay ranked at number nine. The boys play JD for the league title on Saturday at JD at 6.30. The boys ask you to come out and support. I'm Leah Ram with your sports. So for a while, rock was bands like Fleetwood Mac, Strawberry Alarm Clock, and The Beatles. Listening to rock was associated with the hippie movement during the 60s and 70s. But that all changed in the 80s with what is referred to as the hair metal era with bands like Skid Row, Rat, and most notably Motley Crue dominating the genre. And then in the 90s, Nirvana changed rock with their album Nevermind. But the band to start the grunge era was Pearl Jam with their album 10 coming out only 28 days before Nevermind. Other big names in the genre are Stone Temple Pilots, Soundgarden, and Alice in Chains. After grunge, we kind of lost rock. Music turned into the auto-tuned te techno-pop stuff you know and don't love today. But rock is still around with band artists like the Foo Fighters and Green Day and so many more. So there's still a taste of rock even though it won't be as, the same as it once was. Thank goodness for that. So Anthony, what are your favorite rock bands? A couple of my favorite rock bands are Blink-182, Green Day. I mean, that's a little more modern, but if we're talking about classic rock, one of my favorite bands of all time is Rush. So, what are your bands, favorite bands? Mine would have to be Fleetwood Mac, Grateful Dead, Hole, and Nirvana. Well, Spartans, that's all we have for you today. So, from Soph and I and everyone at the morning show, have an awesome day.